Well, do you know what I fancy tonight, baby? What's that? Something savoury and something a little bit saucy and something a little bit spicy, something along a takeaway sort of vibe, if you know what I mean. What about hot and spicy ribs with salt and pepper chips? That's the one, baby. Let's get them going. I'm like a mind reader. Right, something a little bit special for you today, folks. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it anyway. I do love a spare rib, don't we? You do. Now, we, we, do, we, do. we normally cook them in the slow cooker, but not everyone's got a slow cooker. And obviously, we do air fry cooking as well. So we've got these two lovely full racks of ribs here. Would that be pork? Yeah. Yeah, pork ribs. In fact, rather than just look at that, Let's just have a look at the whole ingredients, baby. What are you doing? Putting my gloves on, getting ready to marinade. <laughs> what are you going to do something to me then? Oh. Bend over. Here's our ingredients. We have two racks of pork ribs, some chips or french fries of your choice, one onion, a medium heat chilli, and two cloves of garlic finely chopped. We are using our Chuckles original hot sauce, some Chinese five spice and our Chinese salt and pepper seasoning. Right, so we've got ourselves a nice big bowl here, folks, and I'm basically going to chop up the ribs. I'm actually taking part in this one, baby. Yeah, I'm letting him join in, because I think he's grown up enough now. So I'm going to be using the, 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 the really sharp knife, that folks. one on there and then cut on that one, so. And then I'll have them put in here, and I'm going to put them in me chuckles. Oh, we're using that chuckle yeah, sauce again. Original hot sauce tonight. Right, so all we're going to do is cut these into individual ribs. You could leave them as a whole rack and do yeah. them that way, couldn't you? Or cut these in half. I like to see you got that rack in that ninja. There you go. So we, you could actually just cut it in half and then put half of a rack in. But I like individual ribs. So let's just run these through. And all Sharon's going to do is just pour some marinade in there. So let me cut these up first, I'm folks. I'm just going to rub them. So as you can see there, folks, literally just in between the bones, Nice sharp knife, and they cut through an absolute treat. These aren't frozen, by the way. These are defrosted. Well, we actually bought these fresh today at East Coast Meats. Yeah, good butchers, that. Which is our local, well, it's our local butcher. Butcher we always use. We like their meat. They have a good selection in Of course there. they do, Sharon. And good prices. So as you can see, we're using our Chuckles original hot sauce there, folks. Which and you can buy in East Coast Meats as well. In yep. the and we will leave a link in the description below for that actual sauce as well. And all Sharon's actually doing is literally just dropping them into that marinade there and just making sure, just give them a little massage. That's how you massage me, baby, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? There's yeah. a bit more meat on me though, isn't there? I'll tell you what, it's not as cold as this. Hey, <laughs> what? So cold. What is? <laughs> me. Well, it's just come out of the fridge, baby. I know. So we are going to just wash our hands, folks. We have been playing about with raw meat. Oh, oh hello, matron. My hands are so cold, they're stinging. Look like you've just done an operation with all that, with all them guts and stuff all over your hands, baby. Oh. So we'll just have a little wipe up here, folks, and then we'll clean it down, and then we'll move on to the next stage. Well, we're Look, gonna... Chow, we're giving them a different camera angle for a change. So there they are, folks. So Sharon's now going to leave the crisper tray in the bottom now, and we're just going to plonk a load in there. We're going to try and get them all in there. You don't really like to overload it, but... Um, obviously depends on the size of your air fryer so we're going to do them in two batches folks we've got the second batch there and we're just going to put them second ones in there as well we're lucky enough to have the dual ninja the uh, af 400 this one is so um as i say we're just dispersing them between the two we'll keep that because we may base them afterwards and put some more on towards the end of the cooking as well right so we're going to put them on match and we're going to put them on for 180 degrees for 25 minutes. And then go. That's on the air fry setting, folks. So we will, of course, be checking them and turning them over throughout that cycle as well. And who knows, baby? They may need more. They might need more time, might they? Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we've not done these before. So this is what it's like. It's a little bit of trial and error. Oh, you don't feel right over that side. It's the same. We've got done this before. It's yeah. the other side. We, uh, it's all trial and error, and once we've done them, then we know basically. We know, for example, if we put sausages in the air fryer, we put them on 200 degrees for 12 minutes, and we know they're going to be done. We'll shake them halfway through. I'll tell you, I say hello to the people that went in East Coast Meats and said, I'm baby. Yeah, we I went walked in... in the butchers and they called me baby. They said, you're baby, aren't you? Someone's, apparently some other people have been into the butchers today and said, oh, watch Butler's Empire, they, they use you, 
and they realised who he was. And of course, that gave it away, look. Yeah. But there's Empire T-shirt on, which we do sell merchandise as well, folks. If you want to pop over to the link in the description below, you might be able to get yourself a little T-shirt there. Anyway. So hello to you. Hello to you, you lot of East Coast Meets as well. Yes. And also, thank you for all the new subscribers we've got recently. And also, we've just passed the 30,000 yeah, subscriber believe. mark in such a short time. Absolutely fantastic. You're obviously loving the videos, and a lot of you are binge watching them as well. Right, folks, we've just pulled them out. We're 18 minutes in, and as you can see, they're virtually done. So all Sharon's doing is just getting the remainders of that, the hot chili sauce there, and we're just giving them an extra paint on, and she's turned them over as well, folks. So on just you go. Pour that in yeah, that just pour that in, and then just, just smear it about, baby. Oh, superb. Already I can see they're succulent. So again, only got six and a half minutes left, so we'll let them count down and then we'll whip them out. So because we want to cook our chips and enjoy our chips at the same time, we're going to put our main oven on of our uh, range here. We're going to just put it on 80 to 100 just to use the bottom oven as a warming oven. So Sharon's just having a little wipe down as well, keeping things nice and clean, baby. Oh yeah. So over to our oven. In fact, we have our switched off, folks. Look, we've actually got to physically turn it on because we don't actually use the cooker at all, do we, baby? Nope. We'll just put the oven on, the main oven, on just, just onto 100. All we're going to do when they're cooked is just put them in there and then we can whack our chips in and get them ready. Mm -hmm. Here, folks, look who's coming around just because he can smell the blinking ribs, look. And Dougal, look. Oh, you love it! <laughs> Keep them away, Sharon. Keep them away. Do you want bigger chips? You want Chinese? He's getting nearly as big as you, shall. You want Chinese? You want Chinese fluffy eggs? Anyway, look folks, we're very nearly there now. And then we're going to prepare the chips and we're going to be cooking that in our new frying pan, which we just got. That cost us 16 quid down in uh, the factory shop there, wouldn't it? Tower. In Horncastle. Right, here we go. Let's have a little look, folks. Get ready. You're seeing these, as I say, for the first time with us as well. So that one's finished. Man, that one's finished. Here we go. Let's have a little look. Oh, look. Oh, Sharon. Oh, look at them. And just to check, folks, we've got our little uh, temperature probe here. Just poke them into one of them. Oh, I can't get it in. Hold on. Well, they have got bones in. I know. Down by the bone show, look, Sharon, look. Over 75 degrees centigrade, so we know that they're all done. Look at them. Oh, and, and putting that extra piece of sauce on the end, folks afterwards five minutes towards the end absolutely fantastic oh they look superb now with that get it into soak straight, get it into away. Soak straight away a lot of people Strong. talk about putting liners in shell but we won't put liners in because we don't find a need for them because we wash straight away don't we yeah so can i have that one you can have the other tray baby this one had more in don't forget folks we had a lot more in this one. Oh, look at them look sizzling away there folks oh superb you gotta love them. You gotta love a rib, folks. Now, normally we'd leave them in the um, slow cooker there, folks, and we'd do them for a couple of hours or so, wouldn't you? Yeah. But we've chose to try them in the air fryer, see if they're still tender. And then, in actual fact, shout, I don't think we need to wash that one out, do we? No, I've got to wash them out. You can't leave it. No, we're gonna make our chips in it. Got to be clean. It's, it's the same flavouring, isn't it? Mm, don't matter, does it? That, folks, is flavouring there, isn't it? And we're going to be using the Chinese style salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So we're just whacking them I'll in there. Stick them on then, and I'll go and soak this one. Right. So we're going to stand it. No, we're going to put these in on air. Oh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> we're going to put them in, folks, on air fry number one. This put, is on the side for chips. Put it on the air fryer. Uh, it says there max crisp for 14 minutes. So I should go to max crisp then, which is 240 degrees centigrade. And we're going to go for 14 minutes and then press start. And we'll again shake them halfway through. And while they're cooking, Sharon's going to prepare the savoury bits that are going to go over the top of the, um, the chips. So we're just adding some olive oil into the pan, folks. So these chips are out of a packet and mass-produced chips are actually partially cooked in either vegetable oil or rapeseed oil. So you don't need to add any more oil to that, folks. So anyway, we've got a little bit of olive oil in here. Let's get these cooking. 
Right, and all Sharon's going to do, literally, is throw all them ingredients in. That's the onions, the garlic, and also the chilli. And we'll just fry them off until they soften. And when will you put that in, baby, now? In a minute, yeah. And just whack the old uh, Chinese five, five spice in, Sharon. And we'll just let that cook down, folks. Right, so while Sharon's just doing that, I'm going to add our salt and pepper seasoning, folks, to the chips. The chips have probably been on for about four or five minutes, so they're releasing the oil that's in them. Don't forget they're pre-cooked chips. And uh, we're just going to give them a little sprinkle with this salt and pepper seasoning. So literally, just sprinkle some of that salt and pepper seasoning over your chips. Just give it a bit of a toss for me, Cher. Just to get it running all through them. And while she's doing that, I'm just going to drop a bit more of that salt and pepper seasoning over your chips, folks. Look. I'll even put a bit in there, Cher. Look at that, look. Well, you don't give a damn, do you? Yeah. And there it is, folks. Link again will be in the description from that. We get this from Amazon. And it's absolutely fantastic as well. Partially cooked, back in they go. We have nine minutes left. Well, there you go, folks. That is all lovely browned off now, and it smells absolutely fantastic, Yummy. baby, doesn't it? It sure does. So they're ready. And here we go over here. Just counting down to our fries now, which should have that lovely salt and pepper flavored seasoning on them. Oh, they're done, they're done, folks, look. Look at them steaming away right baby there you go all you're going to do now is literally just throw them into your frying pan and just teasing it they're just teasing it baby aren't you i'm going to try and do a chefy tosh sharon look at that folks look oh, i've been learning look oh, oh hello i don't show anyone that sure sharon's going over now to get the ribs out Of help. of course she is oh look at them folks Oh, let's take a closer look at these folks. Well, I can't wait to tuck into these folks. They look absolutely fantastic, but it's only fair that I let my little princess go first. Okay. You go for a chip first, yeah? Onion. She does love a bit of onion, folks. Yeah. Nice, can you taste that seasoning? Yeah? Now go in for the ribs, baby. Oh, I'll just take that good one on the top there. They're all good, Shell. Tell me how tender it is. Tell me what it's like, baby. Oh, the way that pulled off into your mouth then, that would come off nice and easy. Mm, no. Any good? Very nice. What do you want if I have a go, baby? Here we go. Oh, oh I've got to taste the rib first, baby. Oh, they look so succulent, don't they? I'll tell you what, folks, I'm going in. Oh, Sharon. <laughs> oh, you know, don't you? Them ribs are succulent. And that sauce. It's, sauce, it's it? not hot, although it's a hot sauce. It's spicy rather than hot. Mm. Absolutely fantastic, folks. I'm going to have a little go with these chips now with this salt and pepper seasoning on. I'm going to take a bit of onion shell. I'm going to take a bit of chilli. I'm going full metal jacket on this one, folks. Everything's on there. Oh, shell. The things we've done with that, it turns a meagre chip into something, into, a, into a, a Far Eastern delicacy shell. I'm on that little bench in front of the Taj Mahal shell. I'm having street food, I've got flip flops on. I've got a turban on. Oh, oh well. He's Chinese. Yeah, exactly. I'm in the wrong bleeding continent again. No wonder everyone's looking at me, shell. Oh, I'm going in again, folks. These are absolutely superb. Mmm. What makes it are the little bits that have got, not burnt, but darker. And they've caramelised. Mmm. Now, what he means, what makes it made with love? Oh, of course it is, baby. And yet again, another fantastic dish. You bought this from a takeaway, you'll be spending 21, 22 quid, mm. maybe even a bit more. And you'll have to wait for it. 
This is here. This is on our doorstep. 25 minutes. And you're eating it fresh. 14 minutes to cook the chips. Absolutely fantastic. And there's loads of it as well, folks. We've got a whole tray there, look. We've got a whole tray there of ribs to go, folks. Um, we've also got these as well, look, loads of them in our brand new saucepan. Frying pan. Frying pan, of course, it is shallow. And my new skill, look. I could should, should be a walk. I can, I can toss now, Sharon, look. Absolutely fantastic. You're a tosser. You've never seen, eh? You're a I am a tosser, Sharon. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Thanks, a tosser. Hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. We're thoroughly going to enjoy these now. And we'll see you again. Don't forget, thanks for all those people who have been binge watching our videos. Yeah, thank you. You have liked them and you've also left loads and loads of comments as well. And don't forget, check out our Sunday vlog, which Come comes out us. comes out at eight o'clock UK time, where we're in the chat box. There's a live chat box there. And chat with the other subscribers uh, as well. Yeah, and we're a lot of people are saying they love it, having a good laugh in there. There's a lot of double entendres, baby, isn't there? Mm. And a uh, bit of comedy in there. But uh, don't take nothing too seriously, folks. It's all in the name of fun. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll Enjoy. see you. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, like, subscribe, bye for and now. Share. I don't fancy your little plate, baby. I'm having this. <laughs> <laughs>